Good morning and happy Monday, April 15. I think it's called, I think it's tax day today. So I got mine done uh, a while ago. So that, that always feels good. Um, hey, let's kind of dive in here. Um, we've got, um, we've got a few things on the calendar um, and a few things on my celebration list. Eighth grade, um, I sent an email out last week. Uh, I need a baby picture and a recent picture. Um, and I sent out a Google form, it needs to be uploaded there. Don't email them to me because um, that just doesn't work. I can't keep 80 students organized in my email. So it, those need to go in the form in order for those to end up in the video slideshow that we that we show during the eighth grade celebration. So get me those pictures. Some of you have already sent me those pictures. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, middle school tackle football. We are making progress on that. It's for seventh and eighth grade for this fall. Super pumped about that. Um, Coach Harris and Mr. Hansen and I had a good week, or a, a good meeting last week, and uh, really looking forward to uh, getting that off the ground. Um, things just continue to roll in a real positive direction. So, looking forward to seventh, eighth grade tackle football. Keep in mind that we will still be offering flag flip, uh, football for our sixth graders. So, anyway, super pumped about that. Speaking of last week, uh, Bye Bye Birdie, uh, just uh, phenomenal, just super fun. I was at the Saturday midday show and uh, just really enjoyed it. Um, just It's just so special uh, seeing you all out on stage and singing and acting and uh, just did a tremendous job. Super proud of, of you all for that. Just obviously a ton of work goes into that. And so just uh, just so impressed, so impressed. So thank you for sharing your gifts and your talents with us. Uh, speaking of musicals, Sound of Music is this week, um, the high school program. Uh, Sound of Music is this week. Uh, the, the details are in uh, the newsletter, uh, 18 through 20, April 8, 18 through 20, which is Thursday through Saturday. Um, 6.30 and then there is a 2 o'clock on the 20th on, uh, on Saturday. So um, that's, that, there's more details in the, in the newsletter there. So, and then another event on the 20th from 11.30 to 1.30 is a day at the disco. It's uh, for mom and mom figures and, um, and their daughters. Uh, a day at the disco. Uh, come dance at the gym and just have a ton of fun. And it looks like there's an optional lunch available. So the details are in the newsletter for that. A day at the disco. Pretty awesome. Um, one last thing. Uh, the Surge Cafe, where you have, many of you have uh, purchased your smoothies. They are now um, offering ramen for $1.50, it looks like. Um, Again, more details are in the newsletter there. Um, let's see, let's go to our, our middle school calendar. All right, so let's just scroll up here. All right, uh, Mr. Hansen is gonna be having those eligibility conversations with uh, some of you today. Um, hopefully you're kind of getting your academics squared up. That's really important. Um, and then just a calendar note, I am on an accreditation visit with Mr. DeBoer. We are out at Kansas City Christian on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So part of a school's accreditation process is they bring in people from around the country, about uh, four of us or so I think are on this team. And we basically spend all day writing reports for those three days. And um, it's, it's actually, it can be a really neat celebration for what all the work the school is doing. In fact, we are just beginning our accreditation process, which will happen um, next spring. So it's a literally a year long process. It is brutal. So Mr. DeBoer and I are out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <clears throat> a shadow student is a current sixth grader and, a six, uh, and someone looking at sixth grade. So it looks like looking at seventh and looking at sixth. That is on Friday. 
and then of course grow groups and early release uh, and you can see your uh, sound of music here is on our calendar um, as well and then finally the uh, cleanup crew thank you in advance for serving ryan krajewski sylvia alcorn graham duncan lydia ekdahl nixon quintana carter schmidt and angelina ronan so that is your cleanup crew um i was not at church this weekend i was actually out turkey hunting with my son um we heard some heard some stuff but uh never really um saw anything saw a bunch of tracks but just never were really to or were able to to get anything so but it it was still awesome hanging out with my son all day so or a half a day because i came home and went for a big long bike ride so anyway my devotion today is from again one of my favorite books um it's called letting go so i want you to imagine a closed fist and an open fist okay closed fist open fist when i let when i'm gripping tight um i'm not letting go but nothing can get in it either right when my hand is out i can give and I can receive. So that's the visual I want <clears throat> I want you to have. So the opening prayer is, take Lord and receive all that I am and have. So in other words, receive all that I have, uh, am and have. You've given it all to me. I give it all back to you. Do with me as you want. Just give me your love and your grace and that's enough. So the paragraph here for reflection. In the end, there are only two ways to live. We can live with either clenched fists or open hands. You can't have both, right? I've got either pick, right? Clenched fists are a refusal, a refusal to let go, a, few, a refusal to trust, a refusal to give up control. And unfortunately, in the spiritual life, clenched fists also keep you from being able to receive anything from God. Only empty hands can receive. Therefore, we must let go of whatever our hands are full, full of before we can accept, or can ever expect, excuse me, can, before we can ever expect to receive any of the fullness or the life that God wants us to give. So if we live our life with a closed fist, and you just walk around and no what's mine is mine i'm keeping it i'm not sharing it with anybody you'll never be able to receive god's love you'll never be able be able to receive a friendship uh, you'll never be able to give to a friendship or give back to god right so let's live our lives with with open hands so all right y'all be good we'll see you in the halls love you bye